So um, it used to be when we were creating trusts that we would focus most of our attention on uh, preservation of disability benefits and protecting disabled beneficiaries against vulnerabilities and influence. Um, and taxation was not really a big part of the discussion. Um, it was there. We were aware of it. But it was not really an overriding concern. Unfortunately, in, in December or in January of last year, 2016, uh, the federal government introduced uh, what we now call the Qualified Disability Trust. And, and this is not really any sort of a separate trust or a different type of vehicle. What a Qualified Disability Trust, and I'll, I'll call them QDT. Uh, for now, uh, to make things simpler, is that the income earned within that disability trust is taxed at graduated rates of the income or of the the, the beneficiary, um, and so this exemption of a graduated tax rate is only available to the QDT. Um, and that's important because if we don't have the marginal rates of tax, which are typically in that 22% range, then we're stuck with the highest marginal rate, which is 47% on income generated. And so that's become a relevant issue for families that are now planning a disability trust because we want to be aware of the tax implications and ideally, we would like to ensure that our trust, whether it's non-discretionary or discretionary, meets the federal requirements of QDT. Um, and that's important from a, a tax perspective. 